Hey everyone, it's Panda over here and today we're go I'm going to teach you how to record your Android screen. So as you guys know, we recently just hit 10 subs, which is like, I don't know, like 10 minutes ago. So right now I'm going to make a video just for you guys to learn how to record your screen. Um, just keep in mind that this is only for Android because I'm not sure about your iOS. So if you are on iOS, I am sorry, you can search it up I'm not sure about that but for Android I'm gonna teach you right now so okay first off you wanna go into the Play Store okay so right now we're in the Play Store once you're in the Play Store you wanna go to and search okay so I wouldn't put it here you're gonna search do screen recorder du so right now we found it so this is the app you want so as you can see, it will probably ask you to install since you don't have it. And right now I already have it and it wants me to update but yeah, later. So as you can see, it is right here. So you want to press the install button and then once you have installed it, it should be right at the side here. But of course I already have it and I dragged it over here. So yeah. So once you got the app, Here's what you want to do. You want to click on it and it, there will be a small little ring. There will be a small little ring and then you can click on the small ring and it will pop up some buttons that ask you to do some that ask you to record. So the first one is record, the second one brings you to this one this app. The third one makes you have face cam and the fourth one I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about it. But um, the fourth one, I'm pretty sure it's nothing. I don't use the fourth one. At least I don't think I do. But yeah, so you can, but you need to have pop up enabled. So like you know when Facebook, you have open chat head. So yeah, you need to have pop up windows enabled. If you don't have pop up windows enabled, and when you click on this app, you instantly go here. There won't be a small button at the side. So keep in mind you have to enable pop-ups. If if you click on it and you go straight into the app, just go to the settings and enable pop-ups. Okay, so as you can see, the first tab is all your videos. So as you can see, I have my three videos we recorded last time. And um these are screenshots. Screenshots I don't really use them because you can already screenshot them without even trying to use this app. Oops, it's okay. And then uh this one is for you to trim the video, merge videos, Wi-Fi transfer, stitch images. Yes, okay, so stitch images, blur image and crop image. So basically those are all the tools if you want. And um, settings, so BD resolution. So BD resolution basically means your video and how high you want it to be. Video quality, so the, the higher quality, the larger the file. So I set it to auto, you can set it to 12 megabytes or something like that, I don't know. And for FPS, that basically means that frame rate will make video smoother, but they use more CPU. And this one, hide the record window when record. So that means, you know, the, what I teach you about the pop-up button, pop button. So, when you enable this, it will basically hide the pop-up button. So, yeah. And shake phone to stop recording. So it's actually pretty good as well. Um, but I don't use it, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty good. So you can use it, for example, when, when you want to stop a video, you can just shake your phone. And it will stop recording by itself. Record audio, that's basically, well, record audio. And show touches. So basically, when I enable show touches, I, uh, uh, the video will basically have show touches. But right now, I don't need it. And watermark. So, uh, watermark basically means that whenever there's a video, you up, when there's a video, you record. Once it is finished, there will be a DU recorded the side of the screen. So that is basically watermark. If you want people to know what you use to record, you can basically use watermark. Countdown. So when you press the record button, it will say 3, 
two, one, and then I'll start recording. So three seconds, no countdown, five seconds or ten seconds, depending on what you want. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Just to give tips on appropriate occasions. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy. And oh yeah, you might be asking, how do you stop the video? So once you do this, you can just go up here and you will see recording in progress. Tap here to stop recording. So if, once you tap it, you will stop recording. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy. If you did, please like and subscribe, share. I hope we can reach 20 subs, 20 subs or 15. That's great as well. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Wait, wait a second. Okay, so once I press this stop button, it will basically stop. And I won't edit this out because usually I edit this out, I trim the video so you won't see it. But I press stop. But yeah, so now I'm gonna press stop. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye.